Michael and I are at the Disneyland Resort to try out some of the new holiday offerings, and one of them is right behind us here at Harbor Galley. So how about you and I dive right in? All right, so this is what it looks like. It is $11.49 uh, before your annual pass discount. If you uh, get, have an annual pass like I do, it is uh, $10.53 after tax and all said and done. So a uh, pretty average pricing. The portion size is a little bit smaller than I expected, but um, again, not surprising, but it does look, look very, very good. So the pasole comes obviously with the main entree here, a little slice of lime to put in, and uh, a side of chips. It also comes uh, with some hot sauce, and of course, this particular brand is my absolute favorite. Again, it's just located right over here at Harbor Galley, and there's a nice little seating area over here that's kind of nice and quiet, and it's right next to uh, Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain's just right down there. You can kind of hear it in the background. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little quiet place to eat, uh, especially right now when, it's, when the sun's kind of going down. It's just nice and peaceful, and uh, it's a perfect time to enjoy a nice, warm cup of soup. Now what's cool for my vegan friends out there, the dish is vegan, so if you're looking for another uh, dish available here in Critter Country, New Orleans Square, Harbor Galley's got you covered for the holidays. All right, here we go, first bite. Mm. Ooh. Disney's killing it with these vegan dishes. This is really good. Oh, there goes the duck. But yeah. Very flavorful. It has a citrus kick right off the bat, so if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, just be uh, wary about that. But wow, all the flavors in here work so well together. They knock this one out of the park as well. And pasole is like a hit or miss. I know um, for people that grew up with the dish, I myself didn't. So I mean, my taste palate's not going to be as strong as those that did grow up with the with the soup. So. Um, Judging from that stance, I really love it, but I'm curious to see how other people enjoy it uh, that did grow up with the soup. But let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think of this dish when you try it here at Harbor Galley at Disneyland. All right, Michael's gonna give it a try now. He's gonna put the lime in, and we're gonna save the hot sauce for after the first bite just to kind of get a first impression here. But are you excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. What do you think? Actually really good, surprisingly. Yeah, it's not that bad. I just wish the portion was bigger, because it's like yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah, like a small portion. But no, it's, it's really good though. Yeah, like do you think the citrus kick is there, like off the bat? Yeah, but I think it's, um, because like what you said, the cilantro is in there, so I feel yeah. like that. Ooh, I like well. that like little twist there on saying cilantro. <laughs> oh, we should, oh wow, that was a great log that went down the hill there. We should probably add the hot sauce now too, huh? Yeah. And maybe spice it up a little bit because we're both fans of hot sauce, especially Tapatio. How do you say it? I say Tapatio. Um, there you go. <laughs> All right, the color has slightly changed. Let's see how it is now. Is it good with the hot sauce? Incoming! Yeah, no, it's still good with the hot sauce. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm a huge fan of hot sauce, so I think it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna try the chips now too. Hopefully they're not like stale. They shouldn't be. All right, here we go. Mm. Perfect amount of salt, but nothing like super crazy. It's a chip, <laughs> nothing more. All right, now with the hot sauce. Mmm. Yeah winner with the hot sauce and the lime and brings it to the next level it's just overall really savory it's really good it's just it reminds you like that winter like feeling you want something warm and cozy the soup is really really good so overall the dish is really good I really enjoyed it and so did Michael yeah I think the only thing that we wished that 
it was different was uh, the portion sizing mm -hmm. and maybe the pricing a little bit. But I mean, again, the pricing is subjective because I'm here at the park. I'm not really expecting like cheap pricing on the food. It's Disneyland. It's not shocking. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's so good that you want more. All right, next up here at the Jolly Holiday Bakery is the Thanks Miss Sandwich. It's got a uh, roasted turkey, stuffing, and cranberry sauce on a toasted uh, little piece of bread there. And it comes with a side of chips. And uh, what was the price? The price was $10.99, and then that was before the annual pass holder discount. So again, if you're an annual pass holder, use it and you save a couple bucks. All right, so let me just try the chips right off the bat. They're just plain like glazed potato chips. That's what they taste like. So nothing too crazy again there. All right, Michael's gonna take the first bite. Hopefully he likes it. Yeah, it's pretty much just a Thanksgiving sandwich put together. What do you think? You not a fan of something? Um, it tastes good. I could just I could do without the cranberry sauce. Other than that, though, it's pretty good. Yeah, like other than that, just a normal turkey sandwich. I mean ham. It's turkey. Oh yeah, this is a turkey <laughs> sandwich. Thankfully they don't put like a lot of sauce on there though. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's yeah, too much. There's, no, there's not a lot of sauce on there, so that's fine. Okay, good. All right, my turn. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. I like the cranberry sauce. I, mean, I, know, I know you don't like it, but it's actually really good. Um, the bread tastes like sourdough bread. To me, that it, it tastes like sourdough to you as well. <laughs> I didn't taste that one. Huh? Yeah, it tastes like sourdough. Um, the turkey's really well prepared. Uh, the cranberry sauce adds to it for me. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're not a fan of cranberry sauce, you're probably not going to like it, but... Um, yeah, everything fits really well together. The stuffing's really good too. Did you think the stuffing was good? Yeah, the stuffing was good. Yeah, it's overall a really solid sandwich. It totally gets you in the mood for Thanksgiving too. It's coming up here just right around the corner. So we got only a couple more weeks until Thanksgiving. And then before you know it, it's gonna be the end of the year. The year is just flying by, isn't it? It's crazy. But you know, the sandwich is really, really good. Uh, the chips, I mean, are not, again, they're nothing special, but they add to the dish, um, you know, as a little compliment to it. What's great is this is what you would exactly make after Thanksgiving. Like the day after Thanksgiving, you have leftovers, make a turkey sandwich. And this is essentially what it is. Just a turkey sandwich with stuffing and cranberry sauce. Super simple, but very well done. It's pretty good too. Um, again, price, not too bad considering where we are. And the portion size, you get two um, slices and they're pretty big slices on the sandwich. So yeah, it's overall like good for like lunch maybe. I wouldn't do it for dinner, but a good lunch. Uh, in between uh, meal. Yeah, this is a really good option. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you love Disney content just as much as I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't want to miss out on that. Yeah, the offerings here for the holidays are endless. There's so much to eat here for the holiday season. And the pozole and the sandwich were really, really good today. And I'm glad the pozole is a vegan option. So for that, again, for those that are vegan or looking for other things to eat other than the usual, that is something new for the holidays. Also, I have an Instagram page, so be sure to check that out at Theme Park Obsession, as well as Twitter at Park Obsession. I'll leave the links down below in the description. You can check that out as well. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful evening, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.